You see the cop, you know, start to go. <laughs> <laughs> but he does that because oh, he's, he's so good. That's at, funny. You know, he gets into a character. Yeah. I, I've seen Carl. He, he doesn't show Carl to anybody from yeah. Sling Blade. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I was sitting in the back lounge yeah. once, and he came back, and he goes, I said, oh, I'll get out of, I'll get out of your way so you could get dressed and stuff. He goes, no, no, it's all right. Just cause, I said, he goes, well, you're not going to see anything you haven't seen before. I go, yeah. well, you know, it's, this, is your, this is your little lounge. Yeah. He goes, close your eyes. Yeah. So I closed, it, closed yeah. my eyes. He goes, okay, yeah. now open them. Yeah. And he's he's transformed into Carl. Yeah, and I was like, oh, whoa, oh, man. how do you do that? Like, how do you do that? He, yeah. he does this thing, yeah. you know, yeah, with his face, and he kind yeah. of, and it's amazing. And yeah. that's what makes him so great, man. Yeah, it makes yeah. him so great. Yeah. I, I've, I've, I have some, you know, moments. He always with talks him. about you. He goes, he always yeah. says, "Hey, babe, bring, yeah. tell Rudy yeah. to come by." Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I really enjoy his company because you know we both come from the same era, yeah, musically, right. you know, and so and we, he knows all that stuff. Oh, he does. He's man. a, a he freaking walking encyclopedia. He man. does. It's um, amazing. He can tell you who the drummer was. Yeah. In, in Strawberry Alarm well, Clock. You know, what's really interesting is that he was. He's been a musician most of his life, oh, oh, and, and he's, he's only started, been an actor. Right. You know, he's been he's right. been a musician longer. Right. He was a musician been an actor. first. Right. Yeah. Exactly. I, a drummer. A drummer yeah. was his, his. The band that he got notoriety was Trace Ombres. It was a ZZ Top tribute band. Yeah, he was the drummer. <laughs> and how funny is that? He's yeah. very good friends with ZZ Top now. Yeah, I know. Know? yeah, yeah. Billy Gibbons. Yeah, those guys. but you know, they yeah. asked us to open for them. Really? Yeah, they asked Billy Bob to goes. He goes. Well, that's very nice, of you guys, but there's no money in it. You don't want to pay us. It's like there's that's no funny. you know money in opening act. Like, so I Billy's going. I, I would love to do it, but. They, they're not going to pay me. Like, <laughs> screw that. <laughs> that was fantastic. So, yeah, I'd love it. How many records do you have with uh, with the Boxmasters? Oh, she's well. There's there's one record, the first record, without me, which mm-hmm. was done by with Marty Stewart. That's the record I didn't play on. Everything else I played on. So I would say 11. 11. 11 or 12 now. In a span of, what, 15 years, yeah, 15 you years. Literally, there's an album every year. He makes a, he, There's two records right now that we finished that are being ready to re- get ready to release. And you guys were, were recently in the studio with the... Uh, Jeff Emmerich. Jeff Emmerich, who just passed away. He just passed away, unfortunately. And I think the, it's the album called Spec. And it was a... It's kind of a... It's got nothing to do. It's kind of a little different than the the two albums before. It was called T Surfing, which was like a British invasion kind of yeah. vibe. This is a totally different, um, yeah. totally different um, yeah. sounding record. Yeah. And Jeff Emmerich produced it. It's, it's, it's uh, one of the things that really uh, impresses me about Billy Bob is the fact that he's so rooted in the British invasion. He loves the British invasion thing. Yeah, oh. yeah. We, when we first started doing the Box Masters, the the concept of the Box Masters was. Uh, a band uh, mm. uh, that opened up for the Billy Bob Thornton band. Ah. So uh, uh, I think Blink-182 used to do that where they would open up for I've seen that. You guys did two sets. We did two sets, right. Most people didn't know. They go, well, we have our own opening act. And they go, the promoters, well, what are you talking about? Well, we're the opening act. We completely, we change into these suits with the pompadour hair. Yeah. And we would come up front and sing on two or three mics and it was like a, um, who was the guy that was married to um, Julia... Uh, 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 if I had a boat, I'd go out on the ocean. Uh, the country singer with the pompadour. Oh, um, he has the large band. Yeah, the large band. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know. <laughs> we blah blah blah, and we, his large band. We're, we're yeah. getting old. Can't remember anybody. Yeah, but it was that look. We had that same look. Yeah. The shoots, the big pompadours. Yeah. And we would play like for forty minutes, and we would play all these songs that Billy had written. Yeah. And then after that was over, he goes, well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you very much. We're the box masters, and we'll see you around sometime. Yeah. So stay, the curtains would close. They would change the set around. They would roll out this big double bass drum kit. For, nah. And then we, then the Billy Bob Thornton band would come out and play all this rock and roll music. Same guys, yeah. but in different instruments. Yeah, yeah. And I played, uh, on the box masters, I played a Farfisa organ uh, right up in front. Yeah. And, then the box ma- and the Billy Bob Thornton band, yeah. I played two B3s. You also played bass once in a while. I played I played yeah. bass in uh, the, a couple years later in the the Box Masters, uh-huh. and then when we did the the uh, when I when we did the Billy Bob Thornton band, the the slide player would play bass, and I would go to B three. Uh, uh, Marty Rifkin, 
but it was it was this country swing band that would open up for Billy Bob Thornton's rock band. Yeah, it's literally the same bunch of guys. Yeah, but we we changed it to jeans and T-shirts and. Yeah, it was crazy. It was it was a lot of work, but it was fun. And you was, guys have your own comic book. Now we have our own comic book. I, that was la- uh, a year and a half ago that came out. I yeah. think there may be they, there may be a, another one, a second one. I don't. What, I don't. What's the premise of that? It's we're uh, we're like secret agents, uh-huh. and um, the hell is it about? We're about secret agents, and we're yeah we're we have to find some kind of some kind some kind of oh. Uh, uh, he threw me from it because I, I haven't I don't, haven't read it in a while. I, you're well, on I think, the cover. I mean, you're I know I'm on the cover. Yeah, I know. I think we had to find something that was good. Oh, 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 oh. it was yeah, obvious. It was the, the the guy was somebody. The guy was going to destroy the world, and we had to we had to get this guy. Okay. It. So are you, are you guys working on a new record, Boxmaster? Well, record? there's a spec record that's about to be released, and uh-huh. then there's a. And then we drove, which was this. The spec is the one with, with Jeff Emmerich. With Jeff Emmerich, yeah. And then we drove is this is a is a theme thematic record, another thematic record that's got nothing to do with tea surfing or any of the British invasion stuff. But it's it's a, a very dark record. But he's going to have all these um, big name music musicians like Paul McCartney, Carly oh, wow. Simon, just speak on it, oh. not perform. And he's going to write the script. Uh, it's uh, well, he'll write the script. They'll and they'll speak yes. his words. But we wrote songs to go along with these. Fantastic! Yeah. What a great concept. Yeah, and but the 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 big musicians won't perform. Yeah, they'll just talk. Yeah, how great is that? Yeah, I know it's very cool. I, you know, it's like I can't wait to watch. Yeah, I mean, I I, I watch you guys' videos and I've listened to the songs. some of the videos. Some very of the, compelling. Yeah, the, some of the early videos, like yeah. uh, 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 Blue uh, is a. Uh, down at the, the what is that called Blue Lounge is there some some heavy videos man yeah some it's, it videos. reminds me like if the British invasion would have happened in America yes it's exactly very right. Americana but it's, British exactly invasion right. at exactly the same right. time and that's it, the the earlier albums like the, the Boys and Girls in the World and uh, Somewhere Down the Road those were very much in the vein of like a, 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 a Van Morrison uh, Tom Petty and yeah. then it kind of slid more into the British invasion because yeah. we started watching all these old hullabaloos oh uh, you I, know, I grew up with that you know, yeah. and we wow how cool is that yeah. guy's pants and look at yeah. the way they're, they're dressed and where the action is the that was <laughs> yeah it was actually made and, in California and then so that's what yeah. but then we liked we liked the, the British bands yeah. The Searchers, I think it was Searchers American, yeah, or they, yeah. uh, uh, sorry, needles uh, and pins. I think they, uh, that's they, right. They, they, they were British. Yeah, uh, uh, Jerry, the, the pacemakers. Yeah. yeah, we we dug the way they looked, and then we kind of melded that with the America, uh, the uh, Beach Boys yeah. kind of harmonies. Yeah, kind of I, uh, stuff. with the guess who we we did the Flower Pop. Flower the cruise, pop. the cruise. Oh, oh, right, right, it's right, right. And all those bands, they were all there, right? They were there. You know, the Hollies. Like, There's one and, guy, right? You one or two guys, got <laughs> you know, yeah, but you know, but still, no, they, still they, they play. I, we, I we love play the that fact. music. I love the fact that those kind of bands are still out there. Oh my there god! Playing. Because if they don't do it, it, it just disappears. It disappears. It disappears, and there's still people that want to hear that stuff. Of course, I know? do. Yeah. I, I, I just, I was hanging with Peter Asher. Oh man! Hey, oh my god! Hey, there's you a know, guy. not only as you know, Peter and Gordon. But also as a producer, yeah, Pat, well, Linda Pat, Ronstadt, uh, Linda Asher, great records, yeah, Peter sister? Asher, yeah, yeah. yeah his, his, his sister was married to a Beatle. Well, Jane Asher, Jane Asher was his sister, right? So he was telling stories. I mean, he's got his own radio show and stuff. Yeah. So uh, on the Beatles channel, I read the Paul McCartney book, the big, uh, yeah, uh, uh, Norman, yeah. And Norman Peter Norman. always talks about when he when, Peter when, Asher, yeah, yeah, when Paul McCartney was uh, dating his yeah. sister, that he would come over to the house and sit at the piano and write the songs, yeah. Yeah, it's how how amazing is that? Yeah, so it's anyway, it's, it's 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 the music of our uh, soundtrack of our soundtrack lives. Soundtrack of our lives, and yeah. and, and, it, and it continues to yeah. and it continues. And as you continue with your journey, what are you adding to the soundtrack of our lives? What am I going to add? I, I what am I going to add? You know, well, I, I'm going to be going out after this. I'm going to go out to, to to Europe to do some stuff with Walter Trout. We're going to do Holland, Spain. Sweden, Germany, England, and that's kind of fun because it's a it's a you know, nobody gets hurt kind of tour. It's just the blues thing, yeah. and we're going to do some stuff with Walt, uh, Robert Cray and, and Buddy Guy. Wow! Yeah, and we do some co. We do a couple cruises, wow. 
and 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 he's allowed me to still when when Billy calls, yeah. he's allowed me to get, he'll get a sub. Fantastic. So, I'm so what's your dream band? My dream band? I don't know. It's a, that's a hard one. Or because, at least a musical style. Well, I've I've always wanted to play Springsteen's band. I'm a big fan of his, and I, because I, I just it just reminds me of my my old days of yeah, Jersey. There you go. There yeah, you, you know, go. you go down, you go down there to those beaches, go. man. You can, you know, you know, it's it's like the Beach Boys. It's like Brian Wilson when he wrote a song, you could smell the seawater yeah, of the Pacific Ocean. That's why well, I moved to L.A. looking for that California girl. Yeah, I was in Miami and said, no. Nah. I gotta go to California. Before you were the California girls, are, right? Right, man. So, my Newport Beach is the first place I lived. I thought yeah. this is it, California yeah. girls. And I married a California. That's girl. right. That's yeah. right. She's a lovely yeah. lady. Love yeah. her. Yeah. Thank and, you, you know, so, so. Thank you so much, Teddy. Rudy, thank man, you, man. I, I, you know, I gotta tell you, it's when anybody asks me, "Hey, you know, we're doing a project, and you know, can you recommend some people?" You're the first oh, guy. Thank I you. I appreciate of. that, man. Because I mean, it's not just your your talent. Because of course, you got incredible talent as a Multi instrumentalist, you know, yeah. but also as a great hang and a, and a great singer, Thanks. but also you know it's you got that's hang. all it's, all, it's that's, you know, that's very important I think you so know all encompassing when you're I mean gonna... you and I we shared a a uh, what do you call that <laughs> a, a birth in a train in, in a train right, a train you know going right. across Siberia Siberia that's right that's you know, right remember and, and, and the lady would come in and, and <laughs> ask us if we wanted to buy candy or something in Russia. <laughs> We don't know what she's saying. And I, how long we really, so well, How long is this trip already? I know. So it's well. a, you know, we would do the shows, and right after the show, we go to the train station. Train station, that's right. Like around midnight, <laughs> get in, in our in our little room. That's right. With like the, four beds, fold but down. Only we only use two. We only use the two the bottom other ones. Two, we put our luggage on top. That's right. right? But then we will walk by these other oh. rooms, and there would be like ten people, people in one the whole family. <laughs> and, and then in the middle of the night, we had to go to the bathroom. Oh, and, and it's like as the train is running, you see the tracks. Yeah, you go to flush it. You, you go, go to flush, flush the toilet, it. and it's yeah. like, hey, there's the tracks right there. Yeah, and then, I, I have that on my iPad. I, <laughs> I have that. I, I, I still have that on my iPad, man. And 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 you have to go to the bathroom either half an hour before oh, yeah. you get to the station. You can't go to yeah. You can't go to the you can't go to the the, the bathroom like ten half, minutes before. No, well, maybe half yeah. hour before it reaches the. Or or it leaves, or after it leaves, because oh, they, after they don't right. want the uh, you know they don't the want body stuff. fluids uh, uh, yeah, near the, the city. Yeah, that's so crazy. <laughs> and and the whole bathroom was one solid piece of steel. Oh yeah, it was everything was like melded into each other. So when yeah. they came into Washington, they would just hose it down. Yeah, yeah. Like, and every time you approach the station. The city looked like Cleveland. <laughs> it all looked exactly the same. Look the you know, people say, Yo, oh, you've been to Siberia. It says, what is it like? Well, it's the Midwest. It's the, it looks like the Midwest. It's right. <laughs> it's just like the Midwest. And, and, and really, when you, you don't, you can't get a, 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 a concept of how big uh, uh, Russia is until yeah. you travel oh. on a train. Okay. Remember that days time? Days and we days. F- we flew from L.A. to Moscow. Right. Then we took another eight-hour flight. That's right, <laughs> and then we, we landed. Kamchatka. Yeah, and then remember that we landed on the airport in the airport, and we just uh-huh. walked across the tarmac like yeah. to those to, uh, a set of gates. And we yeah. just remember we had to meet somebody because I have we had the photos yeah, 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 that were yeah, taken, yeah, yeah. and these guys showed up with these cars, and yeah. we're like, "Are we supposed to get in with these guys?" Like, what are we? You know, I remember you and me traveling. Said, Rudy, don't leave me for God's sakes! Don't leave me. I'm traveling with that soccer team or something. I know, Spanish. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. goodness they spoke okay. Spanish. I think. Well. This Daddy, looking forward to more memories. Oh, I hope you, so, brother. man. This is awesome. I, I had a great time and yeah. great unit and a, and a you're right, great the H- interviewer, the man. Zoom H6 is what we're talking go. about. A little product placement there. Yeah, well, and I mean, you're a great... Well, since you mentioned it. No. <laughs> you know, because if, 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 when people hear, what a nice unit... I want to know what they're oh, oh, right, right. talking about. <laughs> this is not right. a naked podcast. I, I didn't want to sound like, Rudy, you have a wonderful unit here. But you know, you're a good interviewer, too. Why is it conversation? I'm not an interview. It's you. awesome. I'm, you, it's I'm, it's you're, you're, same, the questions that you're, you're asking were Well, it's great. the same stuff that we talk about over coffee. I know. We, we talked about it last night. Yeah, dinner. exactly. Yeah. That's awesome, man. God bless really you, my brother. Thank God you, Rudy. Thank you I'm so going to go get a coffee right now next yeah. door. I haven't. I'm going to follow you.